acid-based problems can occur isolated or in combination. But even if they're combined, there's usually a primary problem that's most pronounced. In this lesson, you'll learn a simple rule how you can tell if the primary problem is metabolic or respiratory in nature. So let's recap the different types of acid-base disorders real quick. For simplicity's sake, I've not separated out acute and chronic respiratory problems. As we said, in respiratory acidosis, PCO2 is elevated, which causes pH to fall. As a reaction to that, bicarb will also be elevated. In respiratory alkalosis, on the other hand, PCO2 falls, pH rises, which will then also cause the bicarb to fall. So you can see that in respiratory problems, the pH and the PCO2 change into different directions. Let's see what the situation is in metabolic problems. In metabolic acidosis, we said bicarb falls, pH falls, which cause the PCO2 to also fall. How about metabolic alkalosis? Here the bicarb rises, which causes a rise in pH, which then also causes a compensatory rise in the PCO2. So as you can see in metabolic problems, the change in pH and PCO2 are in the same direction. And that constitutes a simple rule for identifying the primary acid base problem in our cases. Let's check out a couple of these cases. It's your turn now to use your newfound skills in order to identify the primary problem underlying the following quiz questions. Please use the simple rule you've learned in the previous lessons.